later, I'm here with another React challenge that could really give you an edge on your interviews. Today, we are going to implement click outside. So, for example, we have this div here with some content and we want to be able to detect if the user clicks outside, so somewhere here. It's a good time now to pause the video and try to resolve it by yourself. But if you want to see how I did it, grab your notepad and get ready to code along. So in order to achieve this, we need to be able to detect the click, basically the click on the whole document, so that we can see if the click has happened outside of this div or inside of this div. Okay, so we need to have an event listener. Also, we need to be able to clean up that event listener with this component on months. So for these two reasons, we need to have a use effect, exactly. So let's go here and say we have a use effect and some dependencies. Then we would define a function called, let's say, handle click outside. This will take an event and works based on that. And since we are going to detect the click for an element, we need to be able to reference to this element. So I need to define a ref here and also here say that use ref like so and null. Now here we can say that if the ref dot current which will point to this div element and we get some help here is not equal to ref dot current dot contains event dot target. So the target that we are clicking on is not part of this ref, then we say, for example, clicked outside, right? So let's remove this part and go here and see. Oh, I forgot about adding this to the document. So I can say document dot add event listener and then click and handle click outside. Okay. And we need to clean it up. So when the component on months, we need to remove the event listener. Okay. So if I go here, click outside, just works. Perfect. So this is basically done, but it would be nice to have all of this logic in a custom hook that we could use it later on. So let's say we have a custom hook here called use click outside and let me remove these parts and the callback so we only get the ref and use this effect here and we return the ref so we are done with this now here we define the ref and then call the custom hook so we would say use click outside and then the uh, ref that we have like so and it should work exactly the same perfect so I hope you have enjoyed the video if there's any comment or suggestions please provide it in the comment section down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and see you in the next video